the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change or the IPCC released the second part of its sixth assessment report on Monday which deals with climate change, the impacts, risks and vulnerabilities and adaptation measures and this is the first time that the panel has come out with regional assessments as well. One of the regions that faces the worst scenarios is South Asia. Not only because of the intensity of the impact of climate change on this part of the world, but also due to the high density of population as the region is home to close to 2 billion people, nearly 30% of the global population that is. And India is one of the most vulnerable countries globally in terms of the population that will be affected by sea level rise. The report says that while India is the most vulnerable to be impacted by sea rise, by the middle of the century, around 35 million people in India could face annual coastal flooding, with 45 to 50 million at risk by the end of the century if emissions are high. Direct damage could be $24 billion if emissions are cut as currently promised, and $36 billion if they are high and ice sheets are unstable. Now, damage from sea level rise in Mumbai alone could be up to $162 billion a year by 2050. The other concept that the report speaks about is wet bulb temperatures, which is basically the measure that combines heat and humidity. And a wet bulb temperature of 31 degrees is extremely dangerous for humans and 35 degrees unsurvivable even for a fit human being. And in India, the current wet bulb temperature is 25 to 30 degrees. But if emissions continue to rise, these temperatures will approach or exceed 35 degrees Celsius very soon, according to the report. This report is a dire warning about the consequences of inaction, says the chair of the IPCC. It shows that climate change is a grave and mounting threat to our well-being and a healthy planet. Our actions today will shape how people adapt and nature responds to increasing climate risks.